my brother was seven years older than me, and to me, he was like larger than life. Um, but he also had uh, a tenacity to him and, and a drive like no other. William R. Gaines, a Charlotte High native, husband, and Marine. Days before the October 23rd, 1983 Beirut bombing, Gaines wrote a letter home. But he said, you know, I believe in our mission. I believe if I die here, I die for a good cause. There's no way he could have known what would happen a month later. One of the worst loss of lives in Marine Corps history. That truck crashed into the foyer of the building and detonated. A three-story concrete reinforced building came down and was reduced to rubble. Gaines died that day, leaving his little brother to grow up without him. As a family member, you know, we hold a loss and we carry that, right? It's a flame, we carry it, it's very precious to us. Michael Gaines uses that loss as motivation to tell the stories of Bill and other veterans like Beirut survivor Chip Shields. I was on the third floor of the building when it collapsed and I was buried for two and a half hours, almost three hours in the rubble. It took time and tears before reality set in. As I lay there in my cot waiting for transport, I looked over to the hangar. And it was filled with bodies, as far as I could see. This is my brother. Today, Shields shares his story as leaders break ground on a peacekeeper's memorial tower. Hundreds in attendance, bearing witness to a new piece of this park that's unlike anything else in the state of Florida. I pray this tower will also help to heal. We want to remember every single one of those Marine soldiers and sailors that gave the ultimate price that day.